Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode five of All the Mods Nine to the Sky. Uh, today we work on getting better power set up and returning back to the alchemistry. So let's hop into this episode, see how we do it. Okay, guys. Well, we finished last episode getting this all set up by the way basic sieving process here. Uh, and I would like to get back to our uh, chemistry. Uh, I feel that's going to be a fun way of getting through this pack is focus mostly on our chemistry and that type of stuff. But to do that, uh, we're going to need a good bit of power. The coal generator, well, we don't get that much coal from this sieve setup. Uh, I actually had to power it with charcoal for a little bit to uh, get it to run. Uh, so, yeah, that wasn't fun. So, I want to get back to alchemistry, like I said. But to do that, we're going to need some power. So, I processed some iron here to get us into uh, making a magnator. I'm uh, trying to remember where our buckets are. Buckets, there they are. With the alchemistry stuff that we have already. Um, first, we're going to need some dielectric paste. We're going to need some clay balls and lava bucket. Uh, I'm going to make of this and do have a whole thing of clay. Okay, so we can't do it that way. So uh and oh yeah okay so we've got everything that we need. Uh two of those there's that I want to make enough of a, this dielectric case that we're not going to need too much more of it. We're going to need more of these iron bars because we're going to take some of this dielectric paste with the iron bars, make the dielectric rods. I think that's di dielectric rods. and the dielectric rods horizontal. Okay, so those were stuff that we needed. Uh, we're gonna need two of these. We'll see here in just a second why I said two. We're gonna need uh, some tiny capacitors. Oof. I uh, this is going to eat into our one thing. Hold on. Okay, so we've got uh, two tiny capacitors. So we've got the mag magmator starter, and we can already upgrade this. Uh, this is why we needed the second casing here to the basic. Okay, to upgrade this further, we need to go down the power rabbit hole, which we're not doing just yet. Uh, this can go right now. This will stay right here. We can uh, attach that back to there and that will drain all of those out. Okay, so there we go. And I want to set this close by this and close by this. So I'm thinking we go right here for right now. I can uh, bring the power off like that. So 
Now, whenever this gets lava, it starts making power at about, uh, I think it is making 80 FE per tick. So it's making about 80 FE per tick. So I'm not sure how much these use per tick. But we should be building up uh, excess power. But to get lava, instead of manually having to do this, like so, um, I want to automate the lava going from here. Oof. Nope, nope. That is not... That is a bad day for me. Uh, as I was saying, we're going to get it to go from here to here. With, uh, I'm going to go with the fluid pipes here from the pipes mod. And I need two buckets, a little bit of redstone, and a lot of iron. And there we go. So now we can come back here, attach this, and bring it around like so. The issue is it will not pull from that crucible into the magnator until we have a wrench. So we're going to have to make a wrench. Wrench for the power mod is two sticks and two flint. And there we go. We got pipe wrench. Uh, I must have pressed Q. All right, and we shift right click this to make it pull. So it will transfer 100 uh, millibuckets per tick into here. So this will always stay full and these will run uh, and power. Back up here. And there we go. We have our iron furnace up there just so we can uh, access this whenever and melt stuff down using that. Uh, we're going to need some more universal cables. And if I'm remembering correctly, that is iron with four. Uh, where is it? The poor coal. And I have some coal blocks here. Okay, so if we remember correctly, which we should, uh, I would like. four of these, so that's 16 coal. Not the most fuel efficient way of doing this, but you know, it, it is. Oh, I forgot, we have to make these the iron dust. To get the steel dust, okay. Uh, I would like to have a couple more of those and wait, 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 stop moving. Uh, diamond boots plus 45 emeralds will give us the Rune Forge Reeds. Uh, 
Unbreaking 5, Stable Footing. Okay, I would like those because the Stable Footing. Uh, 45 emeralds. Yeah, we don't have the 45 emeralds. We only have 17. Good. So hopefully you stick around for a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to manually fill this hopper for a bit, but that's okay. Okay, so we've got the steel here. And we have some more of these basic universal cables. So let me get a sleep in quick. And come over here. We'll set the first three machines back up. The dissolver, the combiner, and the compactor. And we'll just set them all up here. All right, so um, what we're going to do is take stuff like cobblestone, stick it into this dissolver, and it's going to take a little bit because, like, this doesn't have a lot of power yet. We'll, we'll have to make more magnetos. I'll probably make... Uh, at least two more magnators. Let's let's get set up for that. Okay, two more magnators basics. Because we should be able to do that. I'm gonna need two more buckets. Uh, we're gonna need more of these casings here. Because that's only enough for one more close. Ooh, we might not have enough of uh, the one fix. Um, yeah, we don't have the basic capacitors. Oh, but we do have enough redstone. Or some more. That's a good thing about running that uh, through the power. So, there we go. We're going to definitely need more of a uh, those capacitors. Okay, so we've got us another one of the basics that can go there. It's already pushing out another 800 or 80 energy. And this does not always produce anything. It normally will produce nothing, but we can get silicon dioxide, aluminum, Iron, zircum, gold, tungsten, nickel, gallium, uh, and diasporium from cobblestone. If we actually click on the dissolver, there is so many different things we can get from different stuff. So we're going to have to dissolve a lot of different uh, items. I think, uh, let's see here. We look at uh, stone slabs through the dissolver. Uh, it still produces the same stuff, but has a better chance of producing um, items from it. However, say we do stone. Uh, stone through the dissolver has two chances of producing one of these. 
So this has a way of uh, producing less metal and all we've got just sitting over here. But to look at this a little bit better, we're going to need to make a book, a paper. A cellulose, which we can get from dissolving strip wood can give us uh, that. So we pull this out, toss this in for a little bit. Uh, this should give us cellulose, if I'm not mistaken. It has a 75% chance, or a 25% chance of giving us cellulose. Whereas uh, an entire oak log has a better chance. So three oak logs in here. We can get the uh, cellulose that we need. We can also get the leather from previous unwanted visitors. Okay, so we get the cellulose. We come over here. Uh, we can open the recipe selection in the compactor and say paper. We can click that. And we can close the recipe and we can put the cellulose in. Okay, open recipe, click the paper, click the lock recipe. And now we can get paper. Showed that the first time I did this. Seeing as how compactors can make multiple different things, you just need to make sure it's set up to the right one. Okay, we've got us the book here. To make this book, we need a stone pressure plate. So that is two pieces of stone. Still not enough redstone. Okay, so now pressure plate book will get us this uh, alchemistry labs catalog. And it goes through the chemical combiner, tells us how to make it. Very, very, very small words. An ex excerpt from the Alchemist Lab catalog. Compounds and elements are nice, but they are so boring. They sit around with and do don't do anything. With our combiner, you can rearrange these products of the dissolver into much more exciting things. Got potatoes? You've got everything you need to for potassium nitrate. Add a little bit of carbon and sulfur and kaboom. Carrots have a lot of carbon for this or even uh, for diamonds. Carrots, carrots to carrots. And what that means is if we want to make diamonds, compactor, if we look at this, take graphite dust. To make graphite dust, yeah, to make graphite dust, you need graphite. Okay, to get graphite, go over here to dissolver, you can use coal, which will get you two of them. Uh, a diamond, which will give you 64 plus, a, or sorry, 128 of them. Wait. Yeah. I can get you 128 of them. 
Uh, that gets you a lot of carbon. Charcoal, two. Diamond ore blocks, only four. Uh, Enderium nuggets can give you lead, nidarium, graphite, a small chance of getting graphite. Charcoal blocks, 18. But it said carrots. And I don't see carrots giving off carbon. Uh, that because it gives off beta carotene. Beta carotene uh, is is uh, dissolved down to carbon and hydrogen, 40 things of carbon. See the C40, basic, uh, basic chemistry class. I, I don't like you on, on, on my thing. We weren't going to get the emeralds in it before he disappeared. However, can we make emeralds with this? So emeralds in a combiner requires uh, vandium, chromium, and beryl. Uh, Vandium is Vandium Nuggets, Vandium Dust, Ingots, Emerald Ores, Emeralds, Bitium, okay, so we can get it from Bitium. Bitium is made from I'm seeing if there's a way of making bitium. Okay, so crude oil. Okay. Yeah, there's a way of getting bitium. Um, are we getting bitium ingots? Hold on, hold on. Emeralds. Okay, so we go in here, combiner, vandium. Uh, vanium nuggets, vanium dust. Oh, it looks like vanium is only gotten through chem labs. Okay, so I'm looking to see if there is a use for Vandium besides Emmett. So I'm starting to see that there is not a way of making that except from Bitium. Once we get into the fission controls, which we could make rhodium, I think. I 
think this is another one of those ones that we would have to thorium. So yeah, there there is a large number of uh, elements that we need to break down. Like we need to get helium. And to get helium gas, we would need to uh, use an atomizer or dissolve blizz powder. Um, helium gas is made from liquefying helium. It's odd that we can't use a Oh wait, helium is helium, hydrogen. Uh, can we use water in these? I I'm I I know I'm I'm completely learning this mod alongside of you guys. So I will be right back and I'll figure out what we're gonna work on. Okay. Um. I noticed the time already, guys. We're going to have to wrap up here shortly. Uh, but before we do, yeah, there's there's going to be a lot of uh, me just taking cobblestone, tossing it in here, uh, and letting it process. Uh, so, yeah, we're, there's going to be a lot of that. So we're going to need a couple droppers here um because i would like to do one last thing about uh improving our power situation here is take the stone from here and i want it to go into the hopper might as well uh so that now this will stay full uh, and fill this completely up, which this will run the magnators and keep our power going. So, so uh, between uh, this episode and next episode, guys, uh, one of the things I'm going to do is make some a functional storage. I'll show you guys what I mean by this. I want to take these here and make the two by twos for this. Uh, I want to set them out here. And pretty much I'm going to take stuff like this and stick it in here. Uh, and when we break down stuff like this, we can get the silicon and oxygen out of it and toss them in here. So that way we have the basic chemicals. Might have to rearrange this so that it's the proper table. Uh, and just break that down for a while, uh, probably a couple of episodes that we're going to be working on that, because uh, as I was reading the book here, uh, I did notice that there is a fission reactor which pretty much is near the end, or the, the more usefulness of this type of stuff. So while we can get some of the basic stuffs with this, um, we're just going to have to let it run and hopefully build up uh, a supply of useful materials. Also, another thing I wanted to show you guys, uh, let's just make another chest here or four. Uh, if I set this up behind here and say put cobblestone in here, 
we can go into this input output configuration and I, uh, yeah, that's the north end. North end is pull. Uh, it should pull automatically. I, I'm not sure. Did it just pull some? No. Well, it, it's supposed to have a pull and push feature. So. Might have to set up piping between it. So. Let's try that. Uh, pipe and we don't want this connected, but we can have this connected. And yeah, we can fill this full of uh, stone, built that up. But until next time, if you guys like this episode, hit that like button. Share this episode with your friends. It really will help us out. Uh, if you did not like this episode, leave a comment down below why you dislike this episode. Uh, go right ahead and even hit that dislike button. And until next time, guys. Have a wonderful day and later, Gators.